Jeanette. It's me, Damien Jennings, or Mr. Goat, from the Genie Forum. Today, I was fortunate enough for Mr. Uri Geller to take some time out of his day to talk to us about what we can expect from him and his performance at the Genie Bash happening in a few weeks' time. So today on Skype, I have Mr. Uri Geller. Good morning, Uri. How are you, sir? I'm very well, Damien. Thank you very much. Um, so the Genie Bash is about four weeks away, um, and this is uh, an unusual thing for you to do. It's the first magic conference you've done in America, certainly. That is true. Um, it will be probably the, the, the second one uh, that I've done in my life. The first one was... Uh, not long ago in northern Italy, I agreed to do it as someone convinced me, um, a, a young man who is a magician himself and uh, creates big magic conferences and uh, magic television shows. He came over to my house and said, hey, Rory, you've got to come and lecture to a group of magicians. I agreed. And what fascinated me, Damien, and actually surprised me, is the warm uh, welcome I had, the reception uh, everyone gave me. And um, I said to myself, hey, this is great. Uh, you know, for 40 years, I kind of disassociated myself from the magic world. And um, I'm hugely controversial, as you know, so I just didn't know what the reaction would be. So I'm very pleased to go to uh, Florida uh, and participate in the 75th anniversary of Genie magazine. I've met Richard Kaufman through David Berglas. And uh, I'm very much looking forward to this event. And what can people expect from your lecture when they, when they uh, attend it? Well, I can tell you this. I, you know, I don't want to sound like I'm boasting, but I think everyone will be amazed, fascinated, maybe mesmerized, because nobody will expect uh, to hear Uri Geller say the things that I will say uh, on that stage, if there is a stage. Um, right now, there, there is no plan in my mind. Uh, whenever I do my lectures worldwide, there is no preparation to what I will say on stage. I get out there, I feel the energy, and then I tailor myself to my feelings and to my conceptual ability to deliver something fascinating. Now, since most magicians, even the younger generation, have heard about Uri Geller... <laughs> Everyone has. <laughs> well, I think they will be quite intrigued to find out what I have to say. And I think people will utterly be surprised at some of the things that I will explain them. Because you've only done one, mag obviously most magic lectures follow a standard format where a performer will perform and then explain and then sell lecture notes. I don't imagine that's what you're going to be doing. No, I won't be doing that, but certainly I'll do some of my kind of famous demonstrations that catapulted me into the world stage. It's, it's hard to believe, Damien, that it's been now, what, close to 40 years that I've been around. And I think that a lot of young magicians, the younger generation, will um, be fascinated by the tips that I will um, tell them, how I created my career, how I pushed myself, how I used the controversy around Uri Geller to, uh, to benefit my career. It's, it's fascinating, but I think everyone can do it if you believe in yourself and you are confident in what you do and if you um, have this little daring character, then you can achieve little miracles in your life to do with your career. Remember, I always say that whatever you can visualize, you can materialize because your thoughts can become things. Uh, and that is my philosophy in life. It's a fantastic philosophy, and I'm sure everybody is uh, hugely looking forward to seeing you just because it's going to be so unusual and different. But who, who are you looking forward to see perform at the convention? 
most of the people uh, that I, I saw there, their, their names and their pictures, I don't...